What is going on guys, it is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you all. And today, of course, we're gonna talk about Somerica. The price action has been very, very difficult to stomach. It has been difficult to handle. And you could see today we broke $1. We are now below $1.98 a share. But before I continue into the video, I do wanna say Ramadan Kareem, Ramadan Mubarak to all my Muslim brothers and sisters that are celebrating this year. I saw all the comments below and I did acknowledge it at the end of my video yesterday, but I did want to start off with saying that just because again, the holy month is here of Ramadan where people will fast for 30 days, give or take a day. And yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. So Zometica is now at 98 cents a share. So if you look at the technicals, I told everyone, you know, between where it was yesterday and the next support line, which is at 89 cents a share, there's potentially good entry points to buy into the stock if you're someone that is interested in the pet diagnostics field and the pet diagnostics sector. Now, there's a great article that came out. So Zometica could be a buy as they look to disrupt the veterinary, uh, veterinary diagnostics field. So some of the things in the summary, Zometica recently launched its first commercial product. Veterinary diagnostics is a competitive but growing field. The company's platform has a chance to be a disruptor, which we know is a fact. And after a recent sell-off, shares are attractively priced. Now remember guys, my channel is not for financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. Rather, I just try to put you guys in a place that I am in and try to give you guys, you know, some competitive advantage with giving information, you know, in a timely, in a timely manner. And with Zometica here, lately we, there's really no news around the company. A lot of articles have been coming out, you know, different opinion type articles. And this is just another one of those. And I do like Seeking Alpha as a platform. But as you could see, the big thing that they talk about is, you know, if you look through and read through the article is the fact that currently there is potential strong and high demand for Truforma, right? With approximately 30,000 veterinarian offices and 120,000 veterinarian nationwide, there's potential to sell tens of thousands of devices or units of the Truforma. The company could expand sales into Canada, Europe, and other parts of the world as well, which would open significant new revenue streams. Although the company has not specified pricing of Truforma, which we know is approximately 12,500 or so, their distributor, um, Miller Vet Supply, is listing it at 13,000. Again, that's just at the distributor price. So of course, as the manufacturer or the creator of the diagnostic product, there's gonna be um, you know, some sort of margin between them and the supplier. So that equates to about $130 million in revenue for every 10,000 units sold. That's what we know. Now, let's compare it to what they state here in IDEX, so valuation measures. By comparison, let's look at one of the leading diagnostic companies in the market, IDEX, I-D-E-X-X. They are currently trading at a, tra uh, a trailing price of, to earnings ratio of 75 with a market cap of $43 billion. They also had 2020 revenue of $2.7 billion for a price to sales ratio of 16. Very, very realistic and reasonable. So Medica will have, a dif uh, will have difficulty garnering uh, the same pr uh, pr uh, price to sales number, but at $50 million in sales, a reasonable estimate for 2022 in the next coming year as Trueforma launches and a multiple of 10 to 12, their market value, their market cap could go between 500 to 600 million. But now if we look even further down the line, we could see um, growth in the company from, um, you know, if the product does well and more, um, more diagnostics are, you're more, you're able to diagnose more than just adrenal and thyroid disorders, evaluation north of $2 billion based on sales, not based on hype, but based on sales is perfectly in line. So. That's why I really like this article because they sum up things pretty, you know, pretty to the point, if you will. So again, read this article because if you're someone that is a holder of Zometica or looking to potentially enter in, they talk about how currently pretty attractive pricing at the current valuation. Now, remember everyone, if you want two free stocks with Webull, I mentioned this in all my videos, you get one free stock for opening a brokerage account, and then you get a second free stock between $8 and $1,600 for depositing a second stock on Webull, just using the link below. Of course, I get a free stock for everyone that deposits $100, so it does help out the channel, as well as helps out your pocket. So go ahead and get your free stock down below. Now, the technical analysis. We know we've entered into bearish territories and we need the bulls to come out. The only way that I foresee bulls coming out, in my opinion, is simply the company 
making some statements for us. Right now, you know, we're not loving what they're doing, right? Trade volume has been pretty decent, but it's dying down slowly, but surely. The excitement and hype around Zometica is falling down because the company is not exciting everyone, right? Like any other penny stocks, look at NNDM, look at BNGO. There's a very common theme, BNGO stock, for example, here. Look at this. Today, it, you know, it had, okay, still overall red day, but you could see a lot of our pennies, like a lot of different penny stock plays in the healthcare sector, down significantly from their all-time highs, right? 55%. Let's look at Zometica, ZOM. Let's look at the six month for it. Down from its all-time high, 62%. NNDM stock. Let's look at it, right? We'll look at the six month from its, from its all-time high down 55%. There's a common theme amongst all of these companies as they're down significantly and not a lot of news is, are, is coming out for them. So what is that doing to shareholders? It's it's not it's not helping them keep, you know, holding the bag or have diamond hands, rather, you know, paper hand out of the positions because without excitement, people leave stocks. That's just, you know, how it is. With Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, all these different companies, big, big businesses, behemoths, if you will, they continue to, you know, excite shareholders outside of their product launches and everything like that. We're just giving updates about company news. Look at Tesla. Tesla had a phenomenal day today. I'm just giving these as an example because, again, news comes out as the stock is falling to hopefully excite new investors to come in or the old investors to reinvest. And look what happened. Look at just the last five days. Tesla's up 11%. On the month, from its bottom at 6.11, up 25%. Beautiful for a company that is worth $731 billion. That is amazing to see that kind of run up in just such a short amount of time. So, so Medica, same thing. We need the company to come out to make a statement, right? And I think there's truly some level of price manipulation going on. That's the only thing that can be, you know, that can tell me what is happening and why the stock is getting pulled out, pulled back so hard and almost shorted, if you will. I put stock price, but I meant to put Zometica stock price. But if we look at it, right, looks like almost this barring type. Um, if you look at the one hour or the you know four, the four hour chart, whatever it might be, you might be able to see it. But now we've, we're less than $1 billion, and at some point we're at $2.5 billion valuation. So the stock is getting hit extremely hard. And guys, you know, I'm hoping that we are not making a mistake. I truly think that this company is gonna do well in the long term so as potential entry points for it we could see we don't know where the bottom is anymore right between now and 89 cents we know there's a support line coming up at 89 cents a share that's where one of our support lines lies so waiting for it to pull back just a little more towards that 89 cent mark could be a better option but tomorrow again if this company drops out excite uh, drops some exciting news we might see it bounce right off of that and continue rallying upwards and hopefully momentum will keep pushing as the company gets better and better at reporting to their investors and the shareholders so that's my quick and dirty update on zometica if you scroll up you know again i will link this article in the description below from seeking alpha a great read gives you you know straight to the point to talk about how attra how attractive the price is now that it is at around a, right around a dollar and actually a little less so for myself full transparency i'm looking to hopefully buy 1000 shares tomorrow to increase my position size in zometica and from then on just hold it i'm not looking to average down from there average up i'm looking to just hold unless some significant news comes out for us all Right. And I know people in the comment section are saying, you know, don't fall in love with companies. That is the number one mistake in the stock market, which I agree with. I'm not in love with Zometica. I have never fell in love with the company, but I like what they have as for their fundamentals and their potential in the future as we would be considered very early adopters. Right. Once Zometica is off to the races, right, the true forma has new integrations in addition to the thyroid and adrenal type disorders. And it has, you know, uh, expanded its marketing outside of the US to Canada, Europe, etc. Asian countries, who knows? Regardless, when we see expansion, you know, this could be one of those big behemoths. It could be something similar to IDEX, where it has a stronger valuation, $5 billion, $10 billion. So compared to where it is now, you know, potentially 5, 10x in the future. But again, this is more of a long term perspective play, no longer really a short term trade. So if you're someone who got in with us at 39 cents a share, you set your trailing stop loss and looking for a be better entry point. Maybe some news is going to come out so you can await that or wait for that 89 cent um, 
89 cent support line to potentially get in right around that 90 cent, 89 cent mark if it continues to pull back. Because right now we know what the trend is. It's been pulling back about 10% per day every single day this week, right? So we can look just directly on the chart, pretty much exactly as so. So if we go to the five day here, pretty much about 10% per day, you can see. Sure, a little bump up there, but it's just been without any bottom. We don't know where the bottom is yet. So hold on tight. If you're someone that, you know, depending on your risk tolerance, set your trailing stop losses. If you got in at some point, you know, between now and $1.30, $1.40, just in case, especially if you don't, if you did not put money you're willing to lose, you know, maybe try to find a better entry point. Again, just my opinion, not financial advice, everybody. So until next time then, keep investing.